to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at basic animation in Swift for your iOS app. So as always, to get started, we're going to fire up Xcode and we're going to create a new project. As soon as Xcode decides to load, we're going to pick a single view application, call it whatever you'd like. I'm going to call it basic animation and save it wherever you'd like. Once you're done doing that, make sure you smash that like button below for daily Swift tutorials. Uh, helps out with all the videos in the channel at large. And let's get into it. So first and foremost, hit Command R to get our application building and running in the simulator. Save us a little time down, uh, down the line. And let's pop into our viewcontroller.swift file. So basic animation, as the name kind of implies, is the ability to animate things moving, um, changing colors, growing in size, in other words, changing size, opacity, so on and so forth. Um, and the way we're gonna do that is through a UI view animation function, which is pretty simple. So firstly, we're gonna start by creating a UI view in the middle of our screen here, and then we're gonna move it around with animations. So let's uh, come in here and create let view equals UI view. Let's give it a frame um, and let's do CG rect. Let's keep the X and the Y as zero, make this 200, 200. And then let's actually call this my view so it doesn't have a swift issue because of the view controller's view. Let's give it a background color of red and let's say add sub view my view what we're also going to do is let's add a button at the bottom of the screen and when we tap it uh, we'll have the animation kick off so this is going to be a ui button uh, let's give it a background color of black let's call this button button change that let's give it a uh, title color set the title color to white for normal be a great idea to give it a title whoops let's come back in here do set title itself let's call it start again that's gonna be normal let's change the X and Y so this doesn't overlap with our button or sorry with our my view the x what we're going to do is we're going to say view dot frame dot size dot width minus 200 divided by 2 which will put it horizontally centered and the y is going to be view dot frame dot size dot height minus 220 which will put it at the bottom of the screen what else do we need to do? We need to add an actual action to get kicked off when this button is tapped. So we're going to say add target self selector animate. We'll create this in a second. And this is going to be for touch up inside. So I, uh, I kind of went through that a little fast. If you're not familiar with creating views and this stuff, it's fairly straightforward and I have separate videos for each of these uh, buttons and views. So I encourage you to take a look at that. Uh, this isn't that pertinent for the animation aspect. So if you're just following along, copying the code, totally cool. So let's uh, create this function real quick. And we're in business. We should be able to hit Command R, which will build and run the app. We'll see our view in the middle, and we should see a button at the bottom of the screen here. So this is the red one. It should not be at the top left. And that's because we need to take all this code and let's put it in another function called view did layout sub views. Make sure you call super and paste that code back in. Basically that's going to now add our views after the fact and it's still in the top left. Well, I don't exactly know what I missed. Oh, I know what I missed. Duh. We need to do my view dot center equals view dot center. Now we should be centered. Cool, perfect. Um, so make sure you read your code. Sometimes I don't, not a great habit, but uh, common, common little gotchas happen and no big deal. 
So now we want to tap this button, which is kind of large for no reason. So let's decrease the height of this and make this, I don't know, 70. And once we tap it, let's start by making this um, red view disappear. In other words, changing the opacity to zero. So we're going to come in here. Actually, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to move this let my view outside of the function into the class. That way we can reference it in another function. And we're going to come in here. We're going to say UI view animate with duration, which you can understandably realize that it's the length that the animation will take to execute. So we're going to say one second and an animation block. And in here, we're going to say self dot my view dot alpha is zero. In other words, in one second, once we tap the button, my views opacity will turn to zero like so. So as you can imagine, we can do a bunch of animations and get some pretty nifty looking uh, things going on. So instead of doing the opacity, let's do self dot my view dot frame. Let's change the size of this. So again, we're going to stick with uh, zero, zero. Let's make it, I don't know, 400 by 400. And we're also going to say its center again is the view's center. So now when we hit this, we should grow in size like so. Um, what else can we do in here? Let's move it around. So instead of changing the size, let's keep this at 200, 200, and let's make the duration a little less. So this will happen way quicker. In this case, 0.4 of a second. Like so, it moves where we want it to. So this is how you do basic uh, basic animations. As you can kind of imagine, you can kind of string these together to get some cool effects. So let's actually string two of these together. So we're gonna hit undo a few times, to change the size. We're gonna be back to the animation where we enlarge to 400 by 400. And I believe there is a completion block you can call on this, which specifies what you want to happen after this animation has completed. So let's see. So there's a width duration, so there's a time interval, animation and completion. So we want this one. So the duration again is going to be one second. The animation is going to be our animation from before. And once the animation is done, we can do another animation. So we can say if done, let's kick off this whole thing again removing the completion and let's set this back to 200 like so so we should see our red view grow in size and then decrease in size oh that's not what we wanted and the reason it's jumping around is because we also need to say the center bit so self dot my view uh, center is the same as the views center. Let's try that one more time. We're going to hit this. We're going to grow in size and we're going to shrink in size. Beautiful. And if we put these into separate functions, um, what you can see is we can get this in a repeating fashion. So if we create a function called shrink, I can spell shrink today. And let's see, we want to also have a completion in here. And in here, what we want to do is we want to call this function again. And I believe we also got to do self. Let's see, what else did I miss? This is yelling because completion ah, we need a comma and we should be good now the view in the middle is going to shrink in size and then grow in size once we hit the button and alternate without stopping so kind of like a heartbeat if you think about it 
So that's a basic overview of animations. Um, I know I went through this video super fast. I'm going to be sitting here all day doing videos because I haven't posted in about two weeks because I've been sick. So if you have any questions or if you want to see more animation stuff, leave a comment down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, if you found it interesting, interesting useful. Subscribe if you're new for daily iOS videos and other tech thoughts along the way. Welcome to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video.